Hey YouTube. So recently I had a client that wanted me to build a Jaspersoft report off of a JSON file. And while I was trying to do it for the first time, I came across some issues that wasted a lot of my time. So I wanted to make a video to kind of maybe help other people um, that are doing this for the first time. Um, so this is for, mainly for people who are familiar with Jaspersoft, but maybe never used JSON as a data source. And specifically, the main issue that I went into was trying to build a sub-report. So where I got to, and I saw a lot of people asking the same question as me, but the answers were not very clear. It might have helped some cases, but still, even when I got to work, it didn't really tell me why it worked the way it did. And yeah, it took me like three hours to figure out, and I'm hoping this video will save you a lot of time if you run into the same issue. So to begin, I randomly generated a JSON file. So we'll be using this. This makes no sense at all, but it has a nice structure going. So first things first, we'll create a data adapter using a JSON file. Let's call this YouTube Tutorial. And store this on my desktop. And we'll be using the auto, whatever this thing means. Basically just does it for you. Um, already made a new project, so let's do Jasper report. YouTube main. So we'll build out the main report and we'll build a sub report. YouTube. Um, so let's do the cow. And notice that the cow has like, like six properties and then the court will have more underneath it. So if we just do cow here, uh, we'll get all of these at this level as a available field. And then if we want to dig deeper here, this is where a sub report can be useful. There's other ways to do it, but let's just say that's our task here. So we have a, a cow and we want to show everything under the cow and then a sub report that shows everything under court. So click next. Yep, all these are fields that we want. We don't care about grouping. So let's just pop these fields right into the details. And hit preview. So we get data for all of these except for court because I guess it can't really read the array or object. So let's do sub report. Create a new report. We'll just use a blank. Call this YouTube sub. here and we'll actually select the court here so here is where a lot of people get stuck on um, if you select the first one that it actually just doesn't work because it's not really a JDBC connection. You don't want empty data sources. And what a lot of people 
recommend is using this over here and I actually have it stored um, the syntax to use so basically we want to add in this line right here and it's it's using the JSON data source from your report and then you just have to specify uh, kind of like which node on the tree you're at so and I'll, I'll go over this again later um, and this is kind of like my understanding of it so the main report we are at the cow level and the sub report we want to be at the court level so because we're already here we can just type in uh, court but let's say if the main report had like nothing specified so it's it's kind of at the top top level then it'll be something like cal dot core uh, and again I'll show that later so right here we want to do double quote court We'll skip the parameters. Uh, so again, this video is for people who are familiar with JasperSoft. So I'm going to assume you know how parameters work between main and sub reports. So now let's take this, pop it in here. So again, the JSON file is randomly generated. It's not the best. Uh, Usually, let's let's just say like cow was like a person. You have person. You have cow one, cow two, cow three. But in this case, we only have one. So it's really just one single uh, thing here. There's nothing to filter on. Uh, let's do preview, and we get something like this. So if I go back to the main report. Let's put this like right under here. And again, why was that important? Is because like if if you had like cow one, two, three, four, then every page you'll have the the first cow's information up at the top, and then you'll have like a sub report with the additional information for that cow, and then each page will be a different cow. Um, so first, save everything. And for sub reports, you do need to compile it first. I think that was pretty fast. Okay, so let's hit preview. Yep, so that worked. So we have the cows information up here. This is the sub report. Um, this is just extra space, so it's showing another page. So I was going to show a way that uh, it wouldn't work, but I think my JSON file is kind of badly made, so was running some issues. Uh, but I will show how to access, let's say, uh, without a sub report, how can we get from starting at the cow and getting, let's say, the almost from court. So besides a sub report, um, so we're trying to get the value jet. So let's delete the sub report. We don't need this anymore. And let's go to our source. And we can actually just take this. So the value we're looking for is just a string. Going to add this at the end here. So I'm just actually gonna paste this, and if you want something under court, you can just do using the dot notation. We can do dot almost. Same thing over here at the value dot almost, and just remember to change the name here. Call this almost. So now if we go back to the design, if we open up our fields, 
the field should exist. Um, we can just pop it somewhere like that. It's got to look funky, but it's just a sample. So there we are, we have the jet value. So using the dot notation, you can basically go down the whole hierarchy in JSON. So this would be like court dot consider dot cost. Uh, I think that's it. I mean, what really got me was figuring out why that sub report data source didn't work. Um, but mainly it's just like you have to remember that if the wherever the main report starts, uh, whichever level, your sub report can only be a level under it. So it can't be like if your main report is querying on the cow, you can't have a sub report that is on jungle or without. I hope that helps. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like it, and I'll make more tutorials on whatever I learn or have trouble with. Hey, one more thing um, is that I could be wrong, and there could be many other solutions to this. Uh, this is just how I solved my issue, and maybe it could help others. So, yeah, so don't take my word that. I read this is the only way to do it. There, there's probably a million other ways, um, but good luck.